welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It's been a while, um, work has been busy busy. I've been on day shift pretty much for the last sort of two months, three months. So finding time to have a shave on this camera is becoming more and more at a premium while I'm on days. I do go on to afternoon shift now for the next six weeks, so hopefully I'll get a few more videos out. We'll see how we go. It all depends how I'm feeling. I am working on a few things outside of work and stuff that I'm not talking about just now, but we'll get into that eventually in another video or later date, should I say. Anyway, this video is to showcase this stuff. Now this comes from Blue Devil Shave Company. Proudly Tasmanian, made in Australia, and it is a shaving soap. So there is the tub, or the lid from the tub. This was very kindly sent over from Craig Eastley over in Tasmania, 125 grams. I'm not sure what that is in ounces, four ounces, something like that. It looks like a standard amount of soap when you get it brand new. Now it is relatively soft. If you want it to firm up, I would suggest you probably leave the lid off it for quite a while just to try and firm it up a little bit. Whether that works or not, I'm not 100% sure. But I've used this every single shave since I received it. I haven't used any other soaps. I wanted to get a real good feel for this soap and try something a little bit different in terms of my approach to the, the channel in terms of using a soap rather than just using it straight off the bat and try and find a way of working with it and see how it actually responds to different brush types and synthetic fibres and natural fibres and things like that. So, made in Australia. I would pick the tub up and so the, I'll just show you the label as well. So there is the label for this one. This one is Strawberry Patch. And on the back here we've got the ingredients list. So you can have a little look at that there. Now, the scent on this, is it's a good scent strength out the tub. When I take the lid off, it's up there like around about a six or a seven. And it smells very, very similar to the hard candies or the hard sweets that you used to get in the individual little wrappers. I can't remember, I think it was Lifesavers made them in America. I'm not sure anywhere else in the world, but I do remember having them in it, strawberries and cream flavour and they looked like little Werther's original type things but they were they were strawberries and cream, this smells exactly like it, it's strawberries and vanilla and that's what I smell, that's what it smells like. Now one thing I have to mention with this soap, I've used this daily, pretty much for sh daily shaves and obviously you haven't seen it being used by me yet and I don't get any irritation from it at all, in fact if anything I get the best shaves I've had in terms of daily shaves when I stick to this soap every day. Now if I did that with another soap, I might get the same result rather than chopping and changing and ingredients reacting to my skin and things. This does not react to my skin whatsoever. It's all essential oil based. Now I didn't know you could get a strawberry essential oil, whether you can or you can't. He's been told you can, he's bought the stuff and it does say essential oil and it's all premium stuff that he spends good money on it. So it smells fantastic and I don't react to it whatsoever. Now he did send me this little thing here, they're offering 125 grams, so we're currently offering tallow and vegan. It lathers well, great post shave fuel. It definitely does have a great post shave fuel and only uses essential oils. The scents at the moment, I'm just going to try and keep his details. I, I, well, actually, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming it's all on this letter, so I'm assuming I can post put this up here. So there are all the scent offerings that you can get at the moment. You can pause the video if you want to have a little read of them, or you can head on over to his website. Has he got a website? No, he's only on Facebook, I think. Yes, yeah, so Facebook. You find them on Facebook, all his scent profiles are on there, you can purchase them by sending them a message or if you're in Australia I would assume that you can give them a call or send them a text message. But fantastic scent, great performing soap. Anyway, let's get stuck in. This is a head shave, so I know that there won't be a massive following for this one. A lot of people don't watch the head shaves, they only come here for the face shaves. Now I do soak this soap or bloom it if you want to call it that. I do place a bit of water on before I use it. Now, as you can see, this soap, is, I've used quite a bit of this. It does tend to go down quite fast, but there's still loads of soap in here. So hopefully, I would like to think you would get at least two to three months worth of daily shaves from this soap at the moment. So the brush in my rotation as it falls is my Strike Gold Shave Rhodium Knox Collaboration Brush. Or so there is the brush for the day. This will be for the head and the face shave. Shave like a president. Just not like a Donald Trump, otherwise you might have a fucking dodgy one. This is a 25mm Rhodium Knot made by Sir Jan Danicic in the Australian Capital Territory. I'm not going to talk too much about the, product, the hardware because you've seen it all before. This is more about soap. So what I do is I really shake the excess out the brush, whether it's synthetic or natural here, and then I go on top, I just swirl it a little bit and then I just dip the brush again in the water, and as you can see, it just starts making a fantastic little ladder, or loading into the brush at least. 
That's all I'm going to pop in for the head shave. I am using the leaf razor today. It's getting a bit of a run out. I have seen, I've been watching a little bit of YouTube. I haven't watched too much. I just haven't had the time to be honest. It's been a sort of, it's been a very busy period. So. Drop a little bit of water into the knot. Now this soap lathers very very easily but I will say one thing, the first time I used it it wasn't a great lather but it was very slick, the residual slickness is exceptional, really really top drawer residual slickness. The scent, it fades a little bit when I start putting moisture into it, it just doesn't seem to fill the bathroom up like other scents even though it's strong straight out of the tub. When I put a bit of water into it, it does fade a little bit. Now I'm not saying all the scents will do that, but this one certainly does. But that's not the be all and end all. Right, just add a little bit of moisture, I'll just dip the whole brush in the water. I hope you can appreciate how nice that lather is. Right, so we have the leaf razor. Now the blades I've got in here, two half blades, I don't have three in here today. You can hopefully just see there if it'll focus for me. There we go. So there's only two blades in there. And it is one of these snapped in half, which is a Gillette super stainless the spoiler fantastic blades and here we go this is the third or fourth shave on these blades i think maybe the fourth go with the green first Yeah, I was talking there about, I have been watching Johan using the the Chevent razor which is very very similar in sort of design to this although he did cut his head up pretty badly with it recently due to misaligned blades but that wasn't any fault of the razor, I don't think that was human error which we all make mistakes especially with shaving if you don't get your blades aligned correctly it's going to cause issues, isn't it? But the leaf razor, for me, is a fantastic performer. It does exactly what I want it to do. And the more I use it, the more comfortable it becomes. And the less nicks and blood that I get. You do have to, you can see there all the hair in there. You do have to have a light touch with it. If you lean too heavy with it, it will cause you a bit of irritation. But that... Happens with pretty much every razor. Even cartridges. Push too hard with a cartridge, it will cause you issues. Right, I'm just going into the sink because there's a fair bit of hair in there. Mega slick. I could, in all honesty, finish this shave with 
just residual slickness. I think I could do it quite comfortably. Right, so here we go with the leaf razor against the grain using the Blue Devil Shave Company strawberry patch. So slick. I mean, that's that's incredibly slick. It leaves such a good layer of soap behind. Even though that's BBS now, there's still a layer of soap, which is amazing, or a layer of slickness. I just find this soap to be very, very protective. This is normally where it makes a liar of me, and I slice myself open, but. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. I'll just turn around, you can see the back in action. Just super, super slick, and you can see there. Oh, keep putting it too close. It's been a while since I've made a video, so I'm struggling to find the exact place to, to put the, the razor in front of the camera. Super smooth. Yeah, fantastic. So I actually put this. In terms of performance and ease of use, it's definitely up there with the best in the business. It's definitely up there with the Ariane and Evans. Phoenix Artisan accoutrements. In terms of Australia, in terms of Australia, it's, it's probably in. From what I've used in Australia, you know, face fat, Australian private reserve, squadron soaps, wolf pack. I think it's actually the best that I've used. And that's saying a lot because I've always highly rated Australian soap makers in the wet shaving space. So as you can see, I can just keep going over it. It's, it's exceptionally slick. Like, just incredible stuff. I can feel the layer. It's slick. I just dip the, even if I dip my hand in water just a little bit, just rub it. It's just incredible. Like I say, absolutely zero reaction to the soap at all. I don't get any sort of uncomfortableness. And that is it, done and dusted. 
I mean, that's BBS. What am I in here? 15 minutes for me, that's a pretty quick head shave. With the grain against the grain, with a few touch-ups, and you can't, I can't ask any more than that. Now, the chances are, I will probably have a few little... Yes, yeah, so I've got a couple of tiny... You might, you might not see that. A couple of little dots of blood there. Tiny little weepers. But that's something that I get with most head shaves, but that's nothing. There's no redness on my neck. I can't see any redness on the back. Fantastic. So, that was Blue Devil Shave Comb Proudly Tasmanian. Now I'm assuming this will have Tasmanian water in it, which will be a lot softer than Australian water in terms of the Australian continent. And good labels, all waterproof. That's nice and central. The ones on the side, pretty good, but they do start, they were starting to peel in the corners here. I've actually re-glued them down a little bit. Not a massive amount of ingredients, as we showed you at the start. Fantastic scent, really, really nice scent. Lovely, fresh sort of summer scent, but I'm, I'm really pleased with it. I think the post shave is really moisturised. You know, I still add, I'm still on my steam bottle of Codex Skin Superfood, which I will be using after my face shave, but I'm not going to use that now. And with that, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Oh, and just while I'm here, I'll pop the link down below to the Facebook page and everything like that to go over there and grab some of Craig's soap if you want to grab some. I don't know whether he does international shipping or not yet, but it's certainly a soap that I highly recommend so far. See you guys next time.